Allah says in the Quran, La tansa nasibaka min dunya Do not forget your portion of the dunya. Imam Qurtubi says that your portion of this dunya is your coffin. That the only thing that you will take from this dunya is your coffin. You know, everything else you leave behind. Every, your car, your bank balances. You take nothing, your popularity, your fancy scarves, your nice homes, every, your nice garments, everything remains behind. What you go to in the grave is those two coffins. That's it. And this is a reality of the dunya. But we are often deceived by the dunya. One of the most beautiful examples, and I've given this example a hundred times, of the reality of the dunya is the example given by Imam Ghazali rahimahullah about the dunya. He speaks about a man who's walking through the jungle. And whilst he's walking, he looks behind and he sees a lion chasing him. And he runs and he comes to a well and he jumps into the well. And whilst he's falling, he manages to hold onto some rope. And he breathes a sigh of relief and looks up. He sees the lion hovering over him waiting for him and he looks down and beneath him is a large serpent with his mouth open waiting for him to fall and the only support he has is the rope and after a little while he sees a black mouse and a white mouse set upon the rope and they begin to nibble it above is the lion beneath is the serpent and the only support he has is the rope and now that's being nibbled at. And in front of him, he sees this honeycomb. And he looks at this honeycomb. And then he sticks his finger into that honey. And he takes that honey upon his finger. And he places it upon his tongue. And the sweetness of the honey momentarily makes him forget the lion, the snake, and even two mice. Imam Ghazali rahimahullah says that the lion is death, which is always chasing you. The serpent is your grave into which every person will fall. And if he's a good person, it will be rawda to min riyadh al-jannah, a garden from the paradises of, from the gardens of paradise. And if he's evil, it will be a pit from the pits of Jahannam. And the rope is his life. And the black mouse denotes the night and the white mouse denotes the day. And they are always nibbling upon your life. And the honey is the dunya. A man tastes the sweetness of the dunya and he forgets death. He forgets the grave. He forgets a day will come that he will die and he will have to stand in front of his creator. This is the reality of the dunya.